Let's grab this one and maybe a float stone. Let's hope that we can grab ourselves an energy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. So we'll do this. Lunar Pain. Multiply all the damage counters on their board before they heal all them up, all of them off, and all of them have a hundred and eighty. No, this one hundred and sixty. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am Josh, and today I will be playing. I think the first one, first deck in Brilliant Stars that I will feature in this channel. It's Mimikyu V Max. Mimikyu V Max is a psychic type Pokemon with 300 HP with two really good attacks. First attack, Ominous Numbers, which will be the main focus of this deck, puts four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. But if you played Azerola's Premonition from your hand during this turn, place 13 damage counters instead. So uh, we can spread a bunch of damage on opponent's side of the field and not even Bench Barrier can, uh, can stop us. So with multi chaining multiple uh, ominous numbers in the game uh, we can have at least 26 damage counters on board to spread acro uh, across uh, our opponent's Pokemon in play uh, more on that later on so we also have another attack here uh, max shadow for two psychic energy deals 120 damage and discards a random card from your opponent's hand we will not use this one because we are playing only uh, colorless energy in the deck. So what I thought of uh, comboing this attack is with Lunala from Celebrations. Lunala is a stage 2 Pokemon with 160 HP with the attack Lunar Pain for 2 colorless energy. It doubles the number of damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So. If we can have multiple damage counters on our opponent's side of the field, we can chain multiple Lunala and Lunar Pain until all of them goes down in, I don't know, two turns. So that is the main goal of the deck, main strategy. Now, I am using Green's Exploration here. Green's Exploration can only be used if you have no Pokemon with abilities in play. Allows us to search up our deck for up to two trainer cards and put them into our hand. So this is a great card. To set up our board and we have come with a roadblock in this part because we have a Mimikyu V that has an ability Dummy Doll that immunes itself once it is played from the hand to uh, the bench so still counts as a, a an ability but once we put Path the Peak and Silent Lab in play we can turn off that ability because we won't be using it anymore and that means Green's Exploration can be used to set up our board. We also have three copies of Acerola's Premonition which is what I only have in my collection for now but I really want this to uh, have four copies of it. So Acerola's Premonition reads that your opponent reveals their hand and draw cards for each trainer card you find there. Expanded has a lot of trainer cards to play and Azerola's Premonition can be a really good draw power to this deck. We don't play any boss's orders or professor's research because we tend to uh, hold onto our hand and you know we don't need gust when we can just spread a bunch of damage counters on our opponent's side of the field. So uh, that's the main strategy. Uh, the trainers here, we have Computer Search as our ace pack of choice because, you know, it can be a special energy or the rare candy that we would need or maybe a supporter. We also have two energy lotto here. I put this one because this is the only way that we can search out our special energy, which does not uh, play a supporter card. And we can search it with the Green's Exploration. So energy lotto, definitely a good card here. We have four fog crystals to set up our... Um, psychic Pokemon. We only, we only play all of Psychic Pokemon. We have two Max Potion, which can be really good in this uh, deck to buy ourselves one more turn with Ominous Numbers before we go into our Lunala's Lunar Pain. Uh, for Mysterious Treasure to search out our evolutions, 
we have three random receivers to search out our supporters. That is our only way of getting the Green's Exploration and a Zero-less Premonition uh, into our hand. We have three rare candies. Uh, I just cut one copy of it so that uh, because you know it, we won't be needing it all the time because uh, we can slowly evolve our Lunala line in the background while we spread damage counters with Mimikyu VMAX. Two Ultra Ball just to have more Brawl Search options. Uh, VS Seeker, one Path to the Peak, and three Silent Lab. You can play however you want it to be, but uh, I tend to play this one because I keep on encountering some um, eggs in my matchups. So, supporters, we have Azoras Premonition and Green's Exploration as well. For the tool, tool cards, we only have two Float Stones in the deck. Uh, just to have mobility and for the energies we have three copies of the all-new du double turbo energy provides two colors Pokemon But reduces the damage we deal by 20 less damage, which wouldn't even really matter because uh, We're not dealing damage anyway at all the time uh, all the time We're only spreading a bunch of damage counters and we also have four copies of double colorless energy Which is the most broken special energy card ever printed so that is it for my uh, deck profile and if you like it uh, please consider leaving a like and yeah this is not the best way you can play it <laughs> but definitely a fun one to play so yeah let's check out Mimikyu VMAX in expanded format all right into the games here with our Mimikyu VMAX so um, unfortunately, I don't have a fourth copy of that Acerola's Premonition yet, so I have to make use of what I have at the moment. Now, hopefully my opponent benches a lot of Pokemon here that we can take advantage of. Um, got a Cosmog start, and we need to get another bench Pokemon let's see if we can do just that mm, they got this one now fortunately we can go for the Mimikyu here put that there now that thing is immune which is really good but I cannot play my Green's Exploration next turn because my ability is still up and all we have to hope now is to top deck a stadium card which would be really good but we have a Cerola's Premonition to fall into so found an adventure and um, a bag of work. Keep on top decking some energies. Let's use that and go for Ace Roller's Premonition. We got three cards out of that, uh, which is fine. Um, still cannot evolve though. All right, should we? Yeah, I think we should. No, 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 no. We'll hold on to that. And I shouldn't have discarded that Acerola's premonition there. Up, uh, discarded that with a mysterious treasure. So there's an outrage. And we got the VMAX. Now we can use our greens exploration. And let's see what we have here. Another green. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's grab. Let's grab. Um, Acer Rollers Premonition and this. Float Stone. And we can spread four damage counters 
that's fine. I'm super fine with that. That's ominous numbers. Put four damage counters there. And then next turn we can go for a max potion again. Because I don't think we can draw with I draw draw max potion out of that Acerola's premonition. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Um, poison Barb will not affect me because I'm not doing any damage at all. All right. Um, I can still go for a Green's Exploration here. Grab myself a Fog Crystal, and um, let's see. Max Potion. There it is. I think that's fine. So let's do that. Um, let's grab another Cosmog here. And heal off all that damage. And we can at attach another double turbo. And then next turn we can just knock this out with a uh, lunar pain so just an outrage for 110 damage they're not benching anything my man they're not benching anything so we will uh, use Azerola's premonition they got four all right I'm super cool with that and um, let's discard the energy lotto. We won't be needing that anymore. So we'll grab ourselves the Lunala. Put it there. And mm, maybe just put that there as well. Just in case. And sure, we'll attach here. Will ominous numbers put 13 damage counters on the active Pokemon and then we can just go for a Lunar Pain next turn multiplying the damage counters on them by 2 so an Outrage will knock me out but no matter we can take the knockout here with our Lunala and that feels pretty good yeah let's go Lunar Pain for put 21 damage counters on that Rashizard and we'll take the win. Alright, another match here with our MimQ VMAX. And I'm hoping that we can find a match where my opponent can just bench everything. So we'll look forward to that. Um, let's go first here. And let's see what we can have with our hand. So we got a Mimikyu start. And looks like we're going against some Zacian deck. Looks like. So I guess I will start with the Cosmog. We got an unfortunate start of green here with no Acerobolus Premonition. So um what kind of a deck? Um looks looks like Duraludon to me. Um they got double dragon energy, rainbow energy. And a fighting. So it looks like Duraludon. Uh, Duraludon is bad. Because they play a ton. Tons of healing. And if they got their. Crystal cave. That would be really bad for me. 
because they'll be healing off most of the damage that I do here. So, let's look forward to get a stadium. But looks like we won't be. We got an Acerola's Premonition though. Um, let's put this and this thing here as well. Okay, put that there. And um, pass. So, where my opponent is playing some sort of a, I don't know, a box deck. So I'm not pretty sure. All right. Um, this looks like a goner to me. Uh, let's play the Acerola's Premonition. We have Floatstone already. So I am fine doing this. Um, yep, there's the Crystal Cave. Just as expected. Um, let's discard one Mimikyu. And then let's grab this VMAX. We will retreat. Now this is, this will be knocked out next turn. So I'll bench this right away. And let let's start spreading some damage counters. Let's go. Um let's put um one, two, three, let's put four to each. Two, three, four. And then one with the most HP. Who is it? Who has the most HP? You? Yeah, you're put, you're getting one more, bud. So as long as we can establish multiple, multiple uh, Lunala, I'm super cool with that. So yeah, they knocked me out there. And we need another Azerola's Premonition. Can we get it through here? <laughs> ah, top decking it is so good. Let's use that Azerola's Premonition. Get two more cards. And then we can maybe go for... Hmm. Let's save this. I don't want to give them more cards prize cards so um, let's do that evolve that thing and then I maybe I don't I won't need a the Mimikyu so we'll start evolving this Cosmog into Cosmoam that and then when they knock me out I will have enough, more than enough damage counters. Three, four, five, two, three, four, and then put four damage counters here. When this thing goes down, I have more than enough damage counters in play, which will make my life way easier. And then take six prizes. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> That absolutely looks pretty good. That doesn't. That doesn't look good. There's the prismatic ray. Yeah, I should I should start start retreating now. Let's see if we can do it. Um Um Let's see. Let's grab this one and maybe a float stone. Let's hope that we can grab ourselves an energy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. So we'll do this. Lunar pain. 
multiply all the damage counters on their board before they heal all them up all of them off and all of them have a hundred and eighty no this one hundred and sixty so next turn if we ca if they fail to knock me out which I do I doubt uh, they will win uh, oh we can win So there's the Guzman, uh, Guzman Hala and a Tina Chomp out of that uh, tag call, and I think they're looking for their stadium to heal off themselves. So, what we need right now is a computer search. I think we need a computer search. Let's promote this. Silent Lab won't do it. Um, they have a big hand. They have a big hand. Uh, let's see. We can discard a thing here. I think we need more cards. So this is quite unfortunate that we can't close this just yet. So we will Ace roll as premonition. Let's see what's in my opponent. Oh, that's a lot of cards. But no, no energy. Feels bad. Um, let's do this grab another no we got we don't have any more cosmogs so let's put the silent lab into play and then we will pass um this won't be this won't be knocked out just yet with a spatial special laser and i don't i doubt that they can go for the uh gg end here discarding two of my Pokemon in play they will need a lot so just a special laser let's see if we can close this one we got a rare candy that won't do it green let's go green and let's grab we don't have the we don't have the oh no <laughs> the computer search feels bad so let's grab a Via Seeker just in case. Energy Lotto. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, let's do this. Let's do this. Lunar Pain. Six prizes in one turn. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mad lad <laughs> absolute mad lad all right another match here with our Mimikyu uh, VMAX this is definitely not the best way you can play this <laughs> um, I, I don't believe this is the best way to play this with the greens exploration they just conceded I don't know what happened fast raid yeah because just because I went first they decided not to even bother playing the game so yeah this is definitely not the best way you can play this if only Mimikyu had no abilities then I think this is fine but <clears throat> I, 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 I beg to differ. <laughs> I beg to differ. I, I, I want to make my life more difficult. That's why I played uh, Mickey V Max in an un unconventional way. Now we're playing against Volcarona. 
So that is not good. That's not good. Alright. Let's see if we can draw something good. Nope. That one's pretty good. Um, let's discard the one rare candy. Let's grab ourselves the Mimikyu. We'll do that. We'll use its ability and then we can attach our energy there and then we will pass. Now hopefully we can find ourselves the Mimikyu VMAX. Yeah, th this is not looking pretty good. We, we can get knocked out so easily that it's embarrassing. 300 HP is not a lot when you're going against uh, Volcarona. But looks like they're going all out, discarding so much energy, even if I only have the Cosmogs. But the good thing is, we can knock out their Blitzels. And even if they gust me here, I won't mind. I won't be knocked out. Okay, there's the Blitzel. So we can knock that out. Now unfortunately, my Acerola's Premonition will not draw me so many cards. Because um, 4 out of 6 cards in their hand are energies. And they're even, they're even playing the Fault Stone. But they got the research. So, feeling pretty good. We can't play the Green's Exploration just yet. So, as long as we can cripple their setup here by discarding that up, I don't know, knocking that Blitzel out, I think we're pretty good. So, let's... Oh man, that's a very, very good top deck. Um, we'll discard the Cosmoem. And then we will grab the V Max. So they would need to have a lot of ways to discard their fire energy next turn. Let's play Azerola's Premonition. We'll grab, oh my goodness, a lot of cards. And play this. We can play the Silent Lab. They got the stadium anyway. We'll attach the double turbo there. And we will ominous numbers. We'll knock that out. Five, six, seven. And then we will put the rest to the Vulcanian. Wait, how many damage? Nine. We only need nine. So that one's out. We'll take one prize here. And then we need to play another Acerola's Premonition next turn. So they got their discarding energy. And they're probably getting another Blitzel there. Or a Volcanion. Alright. No Blitzel in sight. So... I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Only three. So there's a lesser chance of me getting knocked out this turn. Unless they have that. Oh no. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, knocking that Blitzel out wasn't enough to cripple their setup. They still have a lot of things to have in their hand. Also, the steam up adds fuel to the fire. Please don't knock me out. Please don't knock me out. Let's go! You held on, buddy. You held on. Alright. Let's see if we can have something good here. Um, let's play this. They don't play N. Let's thin our deck we got Azerola's Premonition and we'll play this one two three three cards only oh no but we have the 
uh, Max Potion, which I will I would happily play. So let's get this. Let's Max Potion it off. And then we can start damaging again with ominous numbers. This needs 9. 1, 2, 3. Let's put 9 here as well. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we'll start damaging the Dene. So I think they can knock me out next turn. Which means I should have played more damage counters here. So that doesn't look good. Because I can I can I can do multiple Yeah, I should have I that was some very big misplay from me. I should have went with a Dedene here. Yeah, what was on my mind was to take all prizes in one turn. What I didn't take into account for is that I can play multiple Lunar Pains in the game. If they got research here, and if I reflint, this would be the end of my, my, my game here. But they don't have it. That is fine. Not punished at all. So, we'll have another turn here. Let's put that into play so that they cannot go for a steam up and we can go for another Azerola's premonition here just spread a bunch of damage let's see one two uh, two cards this time no a lot okay um let's see what we have in our deck just a mimic um do we have a rare candy yes we do have one um I don't think I will need another thing, this one. So let's grab the Cosmoem. And then I think I will go for this one here. Play this. And evolve this one here as well. And then we can st start spreading a bunch of damage. One, two, three, four, five. That goes to 6, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I don't even know if I'm doing this right. So no matter, if they opt to knock out my Lonala here, I still have one more thing going down their way. And we have Green's Exploration to do all of those. So yeah, there's the Guzma. They're going f for the Cosmoem. And I don't know why they just did that. Maybe because they don't have enough energies to knock out my Lunala. But that's fine because they were, we are taking so much... Uh, Oh no, they don't even let me do it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> no matter. We beat a Volcarona deck with our wacky mini QV Max. Oh man, that was so bad. Ah, oh. we'll take it. We'll find another match. All right. One last match and hopefully we can pull off the lunar pain. My man, uh Vol the vol that Volcarona player did not let me do it, which is sad. And this is a terrible, terrible hand as well. Unless we can draw out of this. So we're playing against, looks like a Turbo Meloetta. So that doesn't look good as well. But we have a lot of stadium to turn off Genesect's ability. So I'm lo I'm 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 cool. I'm cool with that. We oh brilliant. Just brilliant. Let's see. We have an experiment to do here. Um let's grab a cosmog. 
and then we can play let's see my experiment here is that I can play this ability and I will not I will still be immune even if I play the silent lab after so I'm gonna use this ability I am immune next turn then I will play the silent lab even if they bugust me the effect still exists right it should yeah So there's the battle VIP pass, but I got no, I have no supporter to play in order to get my attacks going. I should have attached this one here. There's the, the annoying ability, fusion strike system, really broken ability out of the uh, Genesect. And they got another battle VIP pass. Uh, they're drawing a lot of cards here. We need to cripple their setup. So just a Melodious Echo. For 420 damage. That's the number. Let's promote this thing here. Oh, we got a VMAX ourselves. Um, What's this? Attacks cost less. Alright. Um, I don't have an attack uh, a, a supporter though, so that's not looking pretty good. One more is a sparkle, and I am over. I'm definitely over. So let's play this ominous numbers. We'll put mm, four damage counters here, perhaps. Not looking pretty good, definitely. But if we have the Azorola's Premonition right now, that would be pretty good because these decks play a lot of trainer cards. And they have it. They just have it. You know, it, their deck is just so consistent. I'm just here crawling around. Yeah. Do they have the energy? Oh, no, they have it. So one more uh, power tablet and my mimic you is gone and they can fish for it if it's he if it's heads oh my goodness <laughs> oh no yeah just a muscle dad sure that's 300 damage to be exact oh mimic you I only have 300 why only have 300 so I don't think we can win this oh no <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna bother yeah unfortunately we did not get the right setup but well we'll find another match we'll find another match all right one last game I think it, I don't know if, if I already said that it feels like I said it already but I'm, I'm, I'm losing track of my count so yeah one last game with our deck uh, really really troll I'm just trolling here Let's see if I can win some matches with this and I'm happy to report that we did we did start with a cosmog and I'm hoping that we can grab ourselves some good stuff here out of this uh, random receiver probably get a greens exploration perhaps so that we can play it let's see what my opponent is playing here with that ultra ball getting themselves a Sylveon so we're going against a Sylveon VMAX looks like and Sylveon VMAX has a lot of benched Pokemon that we can target. So we have to go after them instead of the Mew, uh, the Sil Sylveon VMAX, because they will play healing cards for sure. We top deck a green. That's pretty good. Let's grab. Um, 
two fog crystals? I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll grab two fog crystals here. And we will grab another cosmog. And then find a Mimikyu V out of this another fog crystal. Now I'm hoping that we can find a Az an Azeroth's premonition out of this random receiver. Uh, so we'll. Um, should I save this? Um, let's see what this thing can give us first. Green. All right, we'll save the we'll save the uh, silent lab. Because we need to turn off our abilities next turn. So there's execute. Yeah, this this is a Sylveon V Max, and we can target down their bench, and hopefully go for a board wipe here. Volcanian EX. Yeah, we still haven't got a game where we can chain our Lunar Pain. So they benched their only egg and went for an N. So that's bad. Now my green's exploration is dead. <laughs> Maybe we can get through this. Let's go. We still got it. Um, do we have... Uh, we can retreat here. No. So they got the Faba themselves as well. What's this? Uh, uh, they got the Jirachi. I'm not letting you play that. I will play my... Oh, they already played it. Got themselves a Colrus. Now, I think they have their... I'll scoop up net to that. I feel bad about this Dream Gift getting themselves a very good cards. Alright. Um, we, uh, we can play green. Allow ourselves a set up here which I wouldn't mind doing so we'll path the peak them and then do this let's grab green first and maybe grab something like this uh, this one and um, this as well Let's evolve the VMAX here. Grab it. And then I think we will pass. We have no other things to do here. So they are ability locked, sort of. And we can take a free prize card out of this egg. So, yeah, they got Enhanced Hammer as well, uh, full of disruption. Now, if they cannot um, net this one, I'm happy to take three prizes in one turn. And right now, they're dealing so much damage. Let's see if they can get their retreat. Oranguru. There's the Ultra Ball getting themselves another Sylveon, I think. Nope, a Dedene. So that's fine. Now we can use Azorola's Premonition here first, and then we will dig even further with the Energy Lotto, which should guarantee us an energy. So shuffling back the Sylveon VMAX character rare, really beautiful card. <clears throat> So there's the Dedeni, and that's looking 
pretty dangerous to me. There's the float stone. They can hit for 340 damage? And that would be really bad. Yeah, that's 340. So, that's not looking pretty good. But we'll take two prizes. I think. I think. Let's ace Rust Premonition first. Let's see what we can have here. We have four cards. Very good. We can... um. energy let's go but we got no stadium so that's not good as well um let's grab another mimikyu i think Because we need to do this twice. Double turbo. And then we can ominous numbers. Knock that Jirachi out of here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we will put 1 to the least number of HP, which is the Dedene. <clears throat> we'll take 3 prize guards out of that. And then we got another Mimikyu that we can discard. And another Azorless Premonition, which is really good. We need we still need to spread more damage. And I'm hoping that they cannot find their energy. Or a way to recover all this. No the egg can go back oh no the egg can go back but hopefully the, not the jirachi the jirachi even uh, pushes the damage even further so a ribbon badge let's see how much damage can they do can they do one two three four five six seven I'm super happy that they weren't able to see that. Um, now I regret benching the uh, the mimic queue. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Our mimic queue V Max survived that. Ah. That's so bad. <laughs> I wasn't able to do the Lunar Pain. And those matches will conclude today's PTCGO video. And my thoughts to this deck? If you want to get wild and troll your opponents in some sort of ways and you get bored, all that kind of stuff, you can play this deck and freely mod, uh, play it just the way it is right now. Or if you want to go for a more competitive Mimikyu VMAX uh, you can just freely modify this deck but uh, yeah I, I went to uh, I beg to differ on playing this kind of deck that I've seen online and I think this is my way of playing it in expanded They're definitely not the last one because ominous numbers is just so good and been paired up with this uh, Lunala, the combo is just way too broken. But I think I might do another video in the future uh, where I can find another draw engine that we can use this deck with. Um, yeah, definitely not the last Mimikyu VMAX in the channel. And I hope uh, you'll enjoy it as much as I enjoyed playing this deck as well. And if you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more expanded content coming up your way. And as always, thank you so much for watching and stay safe.